this is Monica Fay, the Love and Logic Institute, and I'm here with my husband, Dr. Charles Fay. Hi there. So you're going to tell us a little bit about what is this Love and Logic stuff? Yeah, what is it? When people <laughs> ask, what is Love and Logic? And Love and Logic is practical. It's uh, scientifically solid. It's compassionate. It's common sense, really, what it is. And it's it revolves around five core principles that are absolute non-negotiables. See, Love and Logic is not a script. It's not like we follow steps when mm -hmm. we're working with the kids so much. But we ask ourselves, how can I fit in with these these five core beliefs or principles as I'm working with the kid. The, the first one has to do with mutual dignity. And, and what that looks like is I talk to the kid in the same way that I'd want to be talked to. Mm -hmm. Hey, it's the good old golden right. rule. Just yeah, a yeah. little bit of respect one yeah. way goes, Absolutely. goes a long way. Yeah, and I know some teachers that have uh, a uh, sign up in the room that says, uh, I will treat you with great respect so that you will know how to mm -hmm. treat me. And I, I love that. Mm -hmm. I love that sign. So the dignity, the respect key part. Another part has to do with shared thinking. Whenever there's a problem that a kid experiences or a challenge or something they're kind of afraid of doing, like talking to their teacher or their coach about something, mm -hmm. it's simple for us to jump in and do it for them. Right but not effective. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so the effective thing is to coach them on how to do it and uh, send them off d to do that specific thing. Talk to the teacher, talk to the coach, uh, maybe the kid's struggling with a math problem. Instead of us sitting down and, and basically doing it all for mm -hmm. them, we might give them little bits of the answer and let them struggle because struggle, struggle is such a big part of building self-esteem. Yep. Character building. Yeah, it is. So it we're is. standing beside, not we're, between our mm -hmm, kids and the problem, mm -hmm. and not behind them, but always beside them. We're, we're there right, to help. Yeah, we're right there to help, but sometimes mm -hmm. we don't. <laughs> Right. <laughs> because mm -hmm. with with, uh, with great wisdom, we try to step back and allow them to learn from the experience. So uh, another core principle, love and logic, is shared control. And we know that control is a big deal. I like control. Yeah, <laughs> we all like control. <laughs> a lot. And if we don't get the control that we want or that those control needs met, it squirts out in other areas. Sometimes we get passive aggressive. You know, somebody mm -hmm. says, hurry up, we slow down. Or mm -hmm. somebody says, you know, why aren't, why are you? You need to clean this stuff up, and you know it gets a little sloppier all the mm -hmm. time. And so, mm -hmm. the the science behind uh, control is this: I give away as much of it that I can that I don't want, uh, that I don't need, and definitely the control that I don't have, right? <laughs> and then I have this this pool of control left over that is stuff that you know, I absolutely need, and I'm going to hold mm -hmm. on to that. But when you give it away you're more likely to get back or keep mm -hmm. what you really need. So another way of looking at it is give it away on your terms so that the kid doesn't take it on their terms. Sure. Now another core principle is empathy. And that means locking in that sadness, that concern, genuine, I have to say genuine, genuine empathy for the kid or the adult when something goes wrong and particularly when there's gonna be a consequence coming up. And we do hear that is the toughest skill um, to do. Yeah, empathy. Yeah. It's it's not natural. Right. It's not easy, but it is oh so effective. Oh so effective, and oh so relationship sustaining. We want people to have long term relationships with their kids, mm -hmm. and so it sounds like oh, I love you so much, and uh, oh yeah. Oh, when you were out with the with the church group, uh, oh yeah, you, you toilet papered the youth leader's house, and what are you gonna do to solve that problem? <laughs> right, mm -hmm. a little love and logic right mm -hmm. in there, and uh, we hold that kid accountable. But see, the empathy makes the poor decision that the kid made the bad guy, and it keeps us in more of the good mm -hmm. guy position, right? Okay, and so uh, we have how many principles here? We have we have dignity, we have uh, shared thinking, we have shared control, we have empathy, and it all flows into this one overarching principle, and the overarching principle is relationship. It's I love you kid, you are the apple of my eye, and we know that when kids fall in love with their parents, 
truly fall in love, and there's a respect element there, fall in love and respect with their parents, they're less likely to go out and do really dangerous mm -hmm. things. They're less likely to rebel. They're still going to make bad decisions. But you know the, the, the huge piece of this is if I have that kind of relationship with my kid and they do something dumb, they're more likely to come and talk to me about it, admit mm -hmm. it to me, so that I can be part of helping them solve it. And mm -hmm. that becomes pretty important as That's they become very teenagers. Powerful. Very mm -hmm. important. And, and uh, I don't know what it is, but life is better when you like kids, <laughs> particularly when you're a parent or when teacher. Yeah, mm -hmm. and the relationship component of love and logic brings us the joy. 